Let's do it. Come on. From the Sony Pictures Studios, this is Jeopardy. Here he is, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to another game of Jeopardy, everybody. Thank you, Alex, and hello, folks. This is game 67 of my run of Jeopardy 2003 for the PC. My total is $3,188,000. Zoology. The British Invasion. TV. Feminism. And last but not least, Organizations. All right, let's get things underway, player one. Uh, I wish for 200. His wishes were granted by genies of the ring and of the lamp. Player one. Who was Aladdin? Exactly. I wish 400. It's what you wish on when you say, wish I may, I wish I might. Get the wish I wish tonight. Player one. What is a star? Hey, you're correct. I wish 600. In the past, people have dropped pins down these, as well as coins. Player one. What is a... What are wells? Precisely. Pick again. I wish 800. Appropriate brand of salad dressing to use during a Thanksgiving meal. Anyone at all? Take a look. Wish Here's bone. Oh. Comes. I wish a thousand. In a classic 1902 story by W.W. W. Jacobs, it's the sinister simian object that supposedly grants wishes. Player two, what is the monkey's head? No. Not the monkey's head. Anyone at all? Player three. What is the monkey's paw? Exactly. Oh. Let's go for organizations for 200. The American Numismatic Association is the world's largest group devoted to collecting these. Player one. What are coins? Hey, you're correct. Organizations for? This society was instrumental in the passage of the Migratory Bird Treaty Act of 1918. Player one. What is the National Audubon Society? Hopefully I spelled that right. Looks like Precisely. I did. Yes, I did. Pick again. Organization six. The American Thoracic Society is the medical section of this lung group that fights tuberculosis. Player one. What is the American Lung Association? Definitely. Organizations 800. This geographic society gives the Hubbard Medal for exploration, discovery, and research. Player one. What is National Geographic? Precisely. Pick again. Organizations a thousand. The Order of the Eastern Star is a society of members of this fraternal organization. Player two. What are the Masons? That's who we were looking for. Hmm. So player two's out of the hole. I'll try feminism for 200. TV's Hawkeye Pierce. This male feminist was a member of Men for ERA. Oh. Player two, who is Alan Alda? Oh. Exactly. Feminism for 400. Perhaps inspired by Shirley Muldowney, in 1990, Saudi Arabian women protested their exclusion from this activity. Player three. What is driving? Huh. Definitely. <clears throat> I like TV for 200. On home improvement, Tim seeks advice from this neighbor whose face is always partly obscured. Player two? Who is Wilson? Huh. Exactly. TV for 400? At the 1998 Oscars, this director asked for a moment of silence honoring those who were lost on the Titanic. Player one? Who is James Cameron? 
Hey, you're correct. TV6? One of vampire slaying Buffy's friends is this shy girl, played by Allison Hannigan. Player three. Who is Willow? Exactly. Oh. I'll take the British invasion for 200. This group, famous for I'm Henry VIII, I am, didn't play instruments on most of their hits. Oh my god. Player three. What is Herman's Hermits? Oh yeah. I remember hey, this category, friend. I just didn't remember this clue. The British Invasion for 400. The Searchers' biggest U.S. hit, it begins, I took my troubles down to Madame Ruth. Player one. What is Love Potion number nine? Precisely. Pick again. British Invasion 600. On September 23, 1997, this aged rock group kicked off its Bridges to Babylon tour to everyone's satisfaction. Player one. Who are the Rolling Stones? Yes. British Invasion for 800. When Jerry Marsden formed his new band in 1959, he didn't have the heart to call it anything but this. Player one. What are the pacemakers? Precisely. Pick again. British Invasion of Thousand. He sang lead on the animals House of the Rising Sun, their only chart topper. Player one. Who is Davy Jones? Oh, no. No. All right. Is that it? Anyone? Two? Who is Eric Burden? Hey, you're correct. Ugh, Eric Burden. Let's try zoology for 200. A squirrel uses this fluffy appendage for balance when it leaps or climbs. Player one. What is the tail? Precisely. Pick again. TV 800. The campaign Choose or Lose 96 urged MTV viewers to do this. Player two. Oh. What is stay in school? Oh, that's Not incorrect. stay in school. Player one. What is lose weight? No. No. Sorry. Anybody? Player three. What is register to vote? Mmm. Yes. Now that I think about it, yeah. Let's go for feminism for 600. This two-word term, popularized by Anita Hill's testimony, may have originated in a 1975 gathering at Cornell. Player three. What is sexual harassment? Oh, of course. Precisely. Pick again. Feminism for 800. Answer. Oh. The Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? 2,500. A widely read 1977 novel by Marilyn French wasn't called The Ladies' Room, but this. Player three. What is the women's room? Definitely. Okay. Feminism for a thousand. This Judy Chicago artwork is a real party. Player three. What is the dinner party? Oh. Precisely. Pick again. Let's go for TV for a thousand. This Archie Bunker show was number one in the primetime ratings for each season <coughs> from 1972 to 1976. Player one. What is all in the family? Yes. Zoology 400. Africa is home to both the greater and lesser types of these long-legged, curvy-necked, pink wading birds. Player one. What are, what is a flamingo? Exactly. 600. Wow, the upside-down type of this feline fish really does swim upside down. Player one. What is a catfish? Definitely. Zoology eight. People and lions are the main predators of this tallest mammal. Player one. What is primate? 
Good answer, but no. sorry, that's wrong. Player three. What is the giraffe? Oh. Exactly. And to wrap up this board. The last one. This arthropod is nicknamed the hundred legger, though some may have 170 pairs of legs. Player one. What is the centipede? Exactly. Got it. So I kind of made up for what happened in the last clue. Okay, that's it for the Jeopardy round. Now we're going to take a quick look at the scores. Player three, you're doing well. Seven, seventy-nine hundred for player three. Six thousand for me. Six hundred for player two. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time. So obviously, I've got some work to do. Here are the categories for the double Jeopardy round. Real ghosts, crossword clues, M, herbs and spices, books and authors, wish you were here, and last but not least, who said it? I'll try books and authors for 400. He wrote The Old Man and the Sea. Player one. Who is Hemingway? Definitely. Books and authors, 800. God Knows, a 1984 novel by this Catch-22 author, is a satire narrated by King David. Player one. Who is Joseph Heller? Exactly. Books and authors, 1,200. Enid Bagnall wrote this classic national tale of a young equestrian and the horse she wins in a raffle. Player two? What is Black Beauty? Oh, uh, that's incorrect. Nope, not Black Beauty. Player three? What is National Velvet? Oh. Definitely. How about Herbs and Spices for 400? Though derived from the same plant as opium, these seeds are non-narcotic. Player one. What are sesame seeds? Oh, uh, that's no. incorrect. Player three. What are poppy seeds? Mm. Exactly. Herbs and spices for 800. The scientific name of this herb is mentha piperita. Player three. What is peppermint? Oh. Yes. Herbs and spices for 1,200. Answer? Oh. The Daily Double. She is risking. Make your wager, please. 2,000. This aromatic leaf used to flavor meat, soups, and stews comes from a laurel tree. Player three. What is oregano? No. Not oregano. Oh, sorry. This is what we A want. sweet bay leaf. Herbs and spices for 1,600. During the Middle Ages, merchants who adulterated this expensive yellow spice were burnt at the stake. Player two? What is saffron? Oh. Yes. Let's try who said it for 400. An actor. Everybody wants to be Cary Grant. Even I want to be Cary Grant. Player one. Who is Cary Grant? Exactly. Uh, books author 1600. 1990 bestsellers included Sidney Sheldon's Memories of Midnight and this author's Four Past Midnight. Player three. Who is Dean Koontz? Good guess. Not Dean Koontz. It's not what we're looking for. Anybody? No. Player two. Who is Stephen King? Yes. Oh. How about Wish You Were Here for 400? Dear Gary. California's a lot of fun. Today we visited this happiest place on earth. Wish you were here. Player one. What is Disneyland? Precisely. Pick again. Wish you were here for 800. Dear Harry, finally made it to this city. Saw the Van Gogh Museum and the Anne Frank House. Wish you were here. Player three. What is Amsterdam? Yes. Oh. I'll take herbs and spices for 2,000. Referring to their shape, 
These fragrant buds take their name from the Latin word for nail. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Layer two. What are cloves? Exactly. Hmm. I'll try crossword clues M for 400. Cows meow. Three letters. Layer one. What is moo? Hey, you're correct. Wish you were here for 1,200. Dear Sherry, did some shopping in the Ginza, a famous district in this Japanese capital. Wish you were here. Player one. What is Tokyo? Exactly. Wish you were here 1,600. Dear Mary, got a great tan at Copacabana Beach in Rio de Janeiro in this country. Wish you were here. Player one. What is Brazil? Hey, you're correct. Wish you were here at 2,000. Dear Terry, what a monumental day. Saw this national monument in the Black Hills of South Dakota. Wish you were here. Player one. What is Mount Rushmore? Precisely. Pick again. Crosser Clues F for 800. Hiawatha's Honey. Nine letters. Player one. Who is Minnehaha? Hey, you're correct. Crosser Clues M 1200. False face festivity. Nine letters. So that should be ten Player letters. One. What is masquerade? Exactly. Could I spell it right? M 1600. Enormous, like a woolly mammal. Seven letters. Player one. What is mammoth? Hey, you're correct. Crosser clues M2000. Gloomy, like the nope, blues. No daily double. Five letters. Player one. What is moody? Precisely. Pick again. Books and authors 2000. Published in 1931, Safe Conduct is an autobiographical work by this Dr. Zhivago author. Player two? <gasps> Who is Boris Pasternak? Oh. That's right. And you seem to know your literature. Let's do real ghosts for 400. Not one, but two of this English king's six wives are said to haunt Hampton Court Palace. Player one. Who is Henry the Eighth? Precisely. Like again. Uh, who said it? Eight hundred. A baseball legend. It ain't over till it's over. Player one. Who is Yogi Berra? Hey, you're correct. Who said it? Twelve. Answer? Oh, the Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? Uh, could you make your wager, please? 3,400. A newspaper publisher. You furnish the pictures and I'll furnish the war. Player one. Who's Greeley? Good guess. No. Nope. But it's not what we're looking for. This is the William Greeley. Randolph Hearst. Who said it's 1600? A comedian. My forefathers didn't come over on the Mayflower, but they met the boat. Anyone? No. Nope. What we were looking Will for Will Rogers. Is this? Who said it's 2,000? An early sex symbol. Between two evils, I always pick the one I've never tried before. Player one. Who is Mae West? Kind of had an idea. Exactly. Uh, Real Ghost 800. Glamis Castle in this UK country has several ghosts, including an earl who gambled with the devil and lost. Player two? What is Scotland? 
Oh, of course. Definitely. Real ghosts for 1200 Screaming ghosts have been heard at the old Lowry House on Royal Street in this quarter of New Orleans. Player one. What is the French quarter? Exactly. 1600 This magician who died on Halloween is said to haunt the ruins of his Hollywood Hills estate. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. Who is Houdini? Hey, you're... All right. And the last one? The answer of the round. A violent ghost called the Bell Witch allegedly murdered John Bell in this volunteer state in 1820. Player one. What is Tennessee? Yes. That's the end of the Double Jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores once again. Player one, you've got the lead going into... 23,000, 7,500 for player three, 7,400 for player two. It's over. It's crunch time, folks. Final Jeopardy. I show you the category, then I give you a few seconds to think about your wager. The, the Women's, Women's Hall of Fame. Fame. Go ahead, make your wager. Player two, your wager, please. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player one, please make your wager. Let's see. Player three would have 15,000. So I'm going to go for 7,000. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. Thank you. One of the two Harriets in the Women's Hall of Fame. They both are associated with slavery. Who is Harriet Tubman? Let's see how everyone did. Player two. Harriet Beecher question. Stowe. That's right. That's one of them. And your wager was? 7,400. Player three. Harriet question. Truman. Oh, sorry. That's no. incorrect. How much did it cost? I don't think there is a Harriet Truman. Cost Harriet her everything. One, I said Harriet question. Tubman. That's it. And that's right. the well other done. one. And your wager was? 7,000 for $30,000. Congratulations to the big winner here today on Jeopardy. Player one. 30,000 today. Pretty easy math. 3,218,000. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Hope you had a good time. So long, everybody. Bye, Alex. Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just get a few details out of the way before we start our game. But just to confirm things, let's take a look. There at you this. go. 67 wins, three million two hundred eighteen thousand dollars. So thirty grand today, a pretty modest win for me, but still, I like. But still, a win's a win, and I like to think I did it did good again. <clears throat> so. Obviously not not quite as good as before, but of course, like I said, I'm being a little less dependent on the clue history side, like I, and I'd like to think I was, but of course, it's my channel, I could do what I want, and of course I could use it for the whole game, but I'd have to apply an asterisk for that big total. But still, overall, a good win for me, 30 grand, and I'll see you guys for game 68. So for now, thanks guys, and remember, subscribe. If you want to see more of these games, or if you just want to see some more of my uh, recaps, and I will have another game of Press Your Luck films later today. So with that being said, thanks guys, subscribe, 
And we'll see you all then.